All right, so one thing I've wanted to do on this Suburban since I've got it is put electric fans on it. And uh, when I first got it, the, you know, probably three years ago, uh, the fan clutch, mechanical fan clutch was bad and temperature would creep up when it was idling for extended periods of time or if you're sitting in traffic. And so I replaced it and bought a genuine Delco one, but it's failing again this summer. Uh, had the same issue going on. And you know, you can hear when this thing engages and temperature was creeping up and that fan clutch was not engaged. So it's going out. So I figured it's a good time instead of spending the money on that, which it's rather expensive. Um, why not just go ahead and do a electric fan swap? So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do it with the uh, PCM controlling the fans and with the uh, OEM style fans that GM put on them, I think starting in 05. So we're gonna kind of go through the steps on what you need to do uh, for a do it yourself. Uh, the only part you can't do yourself if you don't have a programmer is the PCM programming. You'll have to get somebody to do that. I have a, a Diablo Intune tuner that I bought for my 2000 GMC oh, about five years ago and five or six years ago. And before I sold that truck, I pulled the tune off of it. And when I bought the Suburban, I put one of the stock tune, you know, one of the little canned tunes that it has on there on the Suburban. And so since I had that tuner already, I reached out to someone who tunes with Diablo and had them do a custom tune for me with uh, PCM controlled fans. So that was the cheapest route for me. Uh, probably if you don't have a tuner, cheapest route is going to be either to send yours off or do an exchange program on uh, your PCM and get it done that way. Anyway, that'll probably be the most expensive part of your swap is getting the tuning done. You might be able to find a local tuner or do a little cheaper. But that kind of seems to be where the most money is spent if you can find good deals on everything else. So what you're gonna need is the um, fan control uh, unit. It's a set of relays, sits right beside the uh, fuse box. And you can find those on 05 and newer. Uh, Chevy trucks, Suburbans, Tahoes, all those. Um, and then you're going to want the harness for that. So, you know, go to a junkyard, get the harness, get the, get all that. And then, um, of course the fans themselves. Now you're going to need a 34 inch radiator. Uh, you could either have a 28 inch radiator or a 34 inch radiator. And for the electric fans, you need a 34 inch radiator. My understanding is the Suburbans and, uh, all the heavy duty trucks, came with the 34 inch radiator uh so any of the lighter duty trucks i don't know about the tahoes um those came with 28 inch and less you know equipped otherwise so easy way to tell is look at your core support here and you've got these two mounting bolt holes uh this is where the electric fans will actually bolt up but on a 28 inch radiator, this is where the radiator bolts up. So if you're using the, if you're bolted up using these outer bolt holes, then you've got the 34 inch radiator. And if you've got, if you're using this one and you have a blank here, then you're using, the, you have a 28 inch radiator. And you can, you can double check that by measuring the core of the radiator, not the whole tank width and everything, just the core of the radiator. And mine measures 34. So uh, what we're gonna end up doing, and I'll do some time lapse on all this. I've, I've got some other video of pulling the harness and we'll include that. I just kind of wanted to do a quick overview video on uh, what you're gonna need parts wise. So like I said, you're gonna need the fans. You're gonna need a 34 inch radiator if you don't have one. If you don't have one, of course, you're gonna need all kinds of other stuff, radiator hoses, all that kind of stuff to go with it. Um, I'm assuming they would have to be different between the two. So uh, if you're lucky and you got 34 inch radiator, you basically just need the uh, fan 
uh, relay box that sits right here. You're gonna need wiring harness. Now you can choose to buy one, you can get an aftermarket. Um, you can get an OEM one that you can buy, you know, that somebody's pulled out of a junkyard vehicle or whatever. Or you do like I did, you go to the junkyard, you pull one out and you pay a couple bucks for it. Uh, I was lucky, I got most of the harness and the fans, uh, the guy had hacked or had cut a couple wires on the harness, but I got all that for 50 bucks. So I got the whole fan set up, I think it was 50, and most of the wiring harness for 50 bucks. And then I went to a junkyard and paid a couple bucks for the little wire harness that runs from the PCM up to this box. Uh, it's two wires, if I remember right. I did this a while back. I think it's two wires. And then um, there was a power wire that he had cut. I had to get that from Junkyard as well. So other than that, uh, I'm in this swap. Uh, I think I paid 75 for the tune. And so if I paid 50 for the harness and then, you know, a couple other bucks, so maybe $6 in wires, I'm in it for under $130 or for about $130. So uh, not too bad. And I got a custom tune out of it. So let's, uh, let me get busy and the next videos, you will see me, uh, doing the harness and, uh, getting it prepared and ready to swap in, uh, pulling the harness from the junkyard and all that kind of stuff. So we'll kind of go through that one step at a time and, uh, Hopefully, uh, if you're doing this, you know, this is beneficial and you can kind of get, get an idea of what you need to do to do this yourself and save yourself some money. So what are we up to? We're in the junkyard and I bought a uh, electric fan and a harness from a guy who was parting out a car, but he cut the harness and um, he didn't want to give me the part that was with the ECM. Uh, where it plugs into the ECM and he kind of hacks some of the wires out. And so uh, I came to the junkyard to try to get the wires that I need or a complete harness. Unfortunately, somebody's already hacked the harness out of this Suburban and this is the only one that has any of the wiring left in it. There's only two later model Chevy full size, either truck or Suburban or Tahoe or anything. There's only two of them here. The other one doesn't have any wiring in it. So somebody's hacked out the harness or the, the box for the fans and most of the, the fan connectors and stuff like that. So this connector is on my plug or uh, this one is on my harness and so I know I've got that. What I need is the other end of it which is right here that runs to the ECM. So yeah so this one's been hacked out. Um, what I'm trying to do is pull this wire out with this connector. What I don't know is how much other stuff was hacked out of my harness that he cut. Um, it looks like these are the only two wires that go to the ECM from the fans, unless there's some kind of uh, something that runs back in that harness. Um, but it looks like it all heads um, that way. So I don't think it would feed back. There is a spot in my harness where he cut wires out of it. And I can't tell yet what that is. I'm looking over here trying to see on this one where he cut it. But I think it might be for the lights because I got that whole harness for the front end of the car. It's got the horn, it's got everything. And I'm gonna have to split out just the fan stuff, but it was just easiest. Uh, he said, just take the whole thing. So we pulled the whole harness off the front clip. So there's a lot of extra stuff. But I, from what I can tell, I know that he cut this wire. Of course, this one's been cut. I'll go ahead and grab the other end of it. I might splice it or I might just make a new one for this. Um, but I know I definitely need this wire and I might peel this harness back a little bit further to make sure none of these wires double back or split off and head back, you know, to the fuse box or something. But that's the plan right now is just at least pull these off. Um, one goes to one plug on the ECM, the other one goes to the other. We will keep in mind, or this is in this plug, the green plug, 
it, the blue one goes to pin 33. Blue to 33. And on this one, the solid green goes to pin 42 in the blue harness. So I'm going to have to keep track of that and get that pin, get those pins out of these connectors. And I got it out. You got to pull these off the back of the ECM and undo the wires from them. I'm going to take those just in case I break one of mine or something. And then um, uh, this one uh, took the little snap ring off that holds the bolt so I can pull this further back. And then I popped the little blue, it's got two tabs, a tab on each side to pop that off. And then I was able to, um, I don't really care about saving this one, of course. So I just bent the tab up and pulled the wire out, came right out. And so um, on this one, I snapped that green thing off without taking that snap snap uh, ring or whatever you want to call it out. And uh, I just was able to get in there and snap that out and realize I didn't have to take this out to get it out. And then uh, bent the tab up and pulled it out. So that is my wires out. It's starting to rain. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this red wire out. And I might call that good. I think that's gonna be all that's gonna be there for the fan harness. I don't think any wires are going to turn back. This, don't see, I might pull it back just a little bit right here and make sure none of these double back, but I don't think so. Uh, I just don't think it will. I think that's going to be all of it. So I'll just double check that real quick and then uh, I'm gonna pull that red wire out the car it started pouring I got soaked but and it ran to the car when it let up a little bit but four dollars and 32 cents and so if you look uh, for what I can tell the blue yellow gray and black I'll go to the fans or the black probably is a ground but um, the only ones so that green goes to the ECM, and these two blue ones, they go and they tie together. I peeled that harness back further. They tie together, and the other end of it goes to the ECM. So I should have everything I need to put this in, um, from what I can tell. I may be missing a relay or something here. I'd have to look for a fuse, and maybe one right there. I don't know. And there's probably a cover that I'm missing to this. But you can see I got way more than I needed. So I'm up to uh, tear this harness apart. But as you can see, he cut that red wire. So we'll either splice this. I think I can splice it on well or it'll be fine. Or I'll just make a new one. I got a phone call. Um, so, the phone, so the video cut out. Um, but yeah, he cut that one out. And this is what I was unsure of. It's got this harness that he cut that goes back. From what I can tell, that's nothing that I need. I think that's all the lights. Um, there's this plug is what I do need. This will plug in to this. I went ahead and grabbed both ends of it just in case I needed the plug to graft on in case they were different. But this is the wire that goes back to the, uh, goes back to here, but the other end of it goes to the ECM, the blue and the green. So we've got that. So I think that's really all we need. The only other, like I said, the only other part of the harness that's cut that goes to the fans that I can tell is this right here. And then I'll have to see if I have everything I need to mount this next to the fuse box and try to find a cover for it if it's supposed to have one. I would assume it is. And maybe I can hit up another junkyard at some point and just grab the cover for it or maybe buy one on eBay or something. I don't know. But I think that's it. I don't think there's anything missing from here because looking at that junk the one in the junkyard they cut it looks like they just wanted this and not any of the wires so they cut it right here and that's all the wires that were bundled together um, and so I don't think there's anything taken out of this one so I think we've got everything so and hopefully these are good fans I paid 50 bucks for all this 
and so with that I'm in this about $55 um, and I've got a complete harness um, a complete wiring harness and it'll be good too because uh, I would assume some of these may be the daytime running lamp plugs which are notorious for um, maybe these for browning like that maybe I can use these there as well so it'd be good to have some of this extra harness if I need it for anything in some of these uh, plugs so and the grounds we ended the ground so we should have a good ground wire uh, to the fans that wasn't cut so the only place it looks like he cut it really was here and here and this from what I can tell is just lights like I said. so we'll have to get our ECM program and then we'll try to put this in